The bloody bath mat's a pretty cool product. It's used to play pranks on people. Any place you spill water on the bath mat ends up looking like a bunch of blood. If you want to use the bath mat for a prank again, all you gotta do is dry it. And as the water evaporates away, the bath mat fades back to its original color. In a previous video, I claimed to have discovered the chemistry behind how the bloody bath mat works. But I've come to realize my claim is wrong. I argued that the bloody bath mat contains hydrochromic dyes and an activator molecule that interact when exposed to water. I specifically argued it was the hydrogen bonding properties of water that allowed the dye and activator molecules to interact, and this is what caused the color change. If my claim was true, then only liquids that are capable of hydrogen bonding, like water, should be able to cause the color change. And liquids like hexane, which are incapable of forming hydrogen bonds, should not be able to cause the color change. So I tested the bloody bath mat with hexane, and the mat changed color. So my explanation was definitely wrong. Going back to the drawing board, I found a patent that describes a method of water indication that's very similar to how the bloody bath mat behaves. This method describes covering inks with a porous polymer that obscures the inks below. In this diagram, the pores of the polymer are represented by the white spaces in between the blue circles, while the blue circles represent the polymer units. Because the index of refraction of the polymer and the air pockets are different, the polymer coating is opaque, so light just reflects off the surface of the coating, hiding the red ink below. However, when water is added to the surface, the pores get filled with water. And this makes both the pores and the polymer itself have very close to the same index of refraction. When this happens, the polymer coating becomes transparent and this allows the red ink below to be seen. This effect is the same that's observed in the disappearing beaker trick, where oil is poured into a beaker submerged in vegetable oil. Upon doing so, it looks like the beaker disappears. This occurs because the index of refraction of the oil and the beaker are nearly identical. To test my new idea of how the bloody bath mat works, I first rubbed a sample of the bloody bath mat with a Q-tip soaked in hexane. When I did this, it looked like something on the surface dissolved away. I'm guessing this was the polymer coating. I also collected quite a bit of red dye on the surface of the Q-tip. These results seem to me to be consistent with what I think is going on. Also consistent with this idea was the fact that almost every liquid I tested caused the bath mat to change color to red. This makes sense because the refractive index of each liquid I tested was close enough to that of the polymer. So as the liquid soaked into the pores of the polymer, the coating became transparent, allowing the red color to show through. But there was one liquid I tested that didn't work very well. And that's liquid nitrogen. But this makes sense to me because it has an index of refraction of only 1.2. And that's pretty far from 1.4. I did notice the color of the bath mat to change in the liquid nitrogen, but the effect was really subdued. Only a slight pink color was observed. Well, what do you think? Does the bloody bath mat work with a porous polymer coating as I've described here? Or do you think something else is going on? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, consider using the link in the video description to purchase a bloody bath mat so you can do your own experiments. And as always, be sure to let me know if you have ideas for future experiments for me to try. Happy experimenting.